What's up everybody? This is Onyx Money Drops and today I'm going to be showing you how to scope out KO Perico and do the intel. So if you're new here, make sure you like and subscribe. Turn on those notifications. Let's not waste any time and jump right into it. So after you start up your gather intel prep, what you're going to want to do is open up your pause menu and then from there you're going to want to see where your Kasaka is in comparison to where the drop off is or where you're supposed to be going. So what I would do is, if it's far away, you're going to want to fast travel. Just go and sit down in this seat here, take the submarine and press fast travel, and you'll be able to go right next to where you have to go, and then start the prep from there. So once you fast traveled over there, if you have a sparrow, get out of the chair, go to your sparrow, and fly right to the drop-off. If you don't have a sparrow, I would probably just stay in the chair, drive the submarine right to where it has to go. And since I've got the Sparrow, I'm going to go to it and use it since it's going to make this prep a lot quicker and easier. I do have an oppressor, but I would still prefer to use the Sparrow for these missions. Just because the oppressor doesn't stay at the Sparrow, it always falls off if you try to park it on top. The Sparrow does stay inside, so it's actually much better for these preps in my opinion. Once you get to the waypoint, you're going to have a couple guys shooting at you. Just take care of them, hop in the plane, and fly it over there. Be careful though, these planes do not fly well, so just make sure you get some good speed and some good height, and don't stay too close to the mountain, or next thing you know, you'll end up on the mountain. If you don't have enough money for a Kasaka and you're looking to make some money, all you got to do is show up at one of my live streams. I do heist giveaways almost every single day. I will be so glad to bring you on a heist and get you paid. All right, now that we're here, let's just let this guard harass us quickly. Then I'm going to change my clothes, and then I'm going to start making my way over to the yellow dot. Just to show you, you don't have to be wearing this outfit. It's going to be a lot easier if you can get a motorcycle. There's only two of them here, so I'm going to show you where the first one is, and then I'm going to take that motorcycle over to the second one so you'll know where both of them are. You're going to see how using a motorcycle is going to make this prep a lot easier. All right, now that we're looking much better, let's go over to the bike over here. I'm going to show you where the second bike is. Don't worry about any of the people you see around here. You don't need to avoid any of these guards that are, have the white dot on the map. It's just the ones with the red that you want to avoid. If you do get caught, you're going to be sent right back here to the airstrip. There's only two bikes here, so hopefully you'll be able to do this in the first one or two times. As you're going to see what we got to do, and it's not going to be so easy to do that with a car. But it is possible. So from that second bike, we're just going to pretty much go along the shoreline just try not to fall into the water but then just make your way over to the yellow dot you're gonna have to just be a little cautious you're gonna probably get knocked off of your bike a few times flying into trees and just make sure you're not running into guards and any cameras and you'll be fine all right so from over here you're just gonna cross these roads and then go right towards the water and then before going to the next part just stop over there and just wait you're going to want to make sure that the guard is not looking at you. Um, if he is looking at you, you're going to get busted when driving by there. So what you just do is look at the minimap. Make sure the triangle is not pointing at the water. If it is pointing towards the water, then you probably will get spotted. So just drive this way. Pull back on your left joystick, and that will help you do a wheelie and fly over here. And you'll be right to the other side without getting detected. And then from here, I would just take the bike along the coastline. That's going to be the safest way to not get detected. And then right at this little fork in the road, just make sure it's all clear. And then go through and start making your way to the yellow dot that you're going to. If you have to do this whole thing with a truck, it's not going to be as easy. But it is possible, and you can do it if you have to. So once we get across this street here, we're going to have to go up this hill, climb the tower, and then you're going to have to do a voltage hack. It's a little confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, it is really simple. I'm going to give you a quick breakdown on how to do it once we get at the top there. So just know that the box that you're looking for is not always going to be up top where I'm going. Sometimes it's on the bottom here, right on the ground, right next to that shed in the back. Just look around, try to find it. If it's not down there, then climb the ladder. It might be on the second tier, and if it's not there, it might be on the top tier. Alright, so now that we found the box, let's talk about this hack. Like I said, it is super easy. So you're going to see three numbers on the left side and three symbols on the right side. Pretty much each symbol just means it's going to be multiplied by a different amount. So the easiest number to work with here is going to be two. 
run it through every symbol and see what it multiplies it as. So when you see the two in the X make 20, that lets you know that any number that goes to that X is gonna be multiplied by 10. So because the number I'm trying to reach here is 42, I know it can't be four times 10 or nine times 10. It's gonna have to be two times 10 and then the other numbers will add it in there and that will get to 42. All right, so once you've done the hack, just take out your phone, cycle through the cameras, and you're gonna be looking for this room right here. This is always gonna be where your primary target's gonna be. If the glass case is empty, just keep scrolling to the left on the camera, and you're gonna see a safe over here, and that's where it will be. And then just keep cycling through the cameras. You're gonna to wanna to check every room and see what's in there. Check for all the secondary loot. Gold is the best, followed by art, and then followed by cash. So once you're going through these cameras here, just pay attention, see what you're stealing. If you got a lot of stuff, know that you're gonna wanna bring a lot of people. If you don't have a lot of stuff, well then don't bring a lot of people. Try and do it with just you or with someone else. There is other loot that you can grab on the island, but to be honest, I personally wouldn't do it. I would just grab whatever you see on these cameras here. That's gonna be the easiest. Also, if you want the elite challenge, you're going to have to make sure that everybody fills up their bag. So that's another reason why if you don't have a lot of loot and a lot of the rooms are empty, you're not going to want to bring a lot of people. If you haven't scoped out the main entry points that you're going to need, that's what you should do right now. The most important entry point is going to be the drainage tunnel. That's right over here next to the compound. That's always going to be the easiest entry point. The other one that's worth mentioning is the main dock and that way you'll be able to take the long fin boat and just take it right over to the airport. Now instead of going and weaving all the way through this map again to get back to the airport, if we just get detected, we will spawn right back at the airport, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So once you're back at the airport, you got two options. Personally, what I would be doing is I would just get back in the airplane and leave, but if you wanna continue scoping out, then just go into the hangar and keep searching. You're gonna find some more stuff in here. And there's also another place you can search where we can go right after this. Again, getting over here during the heist is not very easy. So I personally would not even recommend wasting your time with any of this stuff. You can just stay within the compound and you'll do just fine. You don't have to come to the airstrip. But as you see here, I do have a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna scope out. Take a picture of it, send it to Pavel, and then you can get out of there. So you can also climb up here, scope out a couple more things, but like I said, I really don't think it's worth it since getting over here during the heist is not easy. The easiest way to do that would be to enter at the main dock and take the long fin. Park the boat right at the dock near the airport, and then after you clear out this whole place, you can go back to your boat, take it to the drainage tunnel, and then enter the compound that way instead of having to go all the way through this map again. Now over here, there's only three different options of what you can scope out. It's going to be cash, which is the cheapest, followed by the green stuff, and then the most expensive is the white stuff. And there's one last place for us to go and scope out. It's right around this corner, so you don't even have to avoid any of these guards here. You can walk past them, even in your regular clothes. You're safe to go by them. Go into this little shed over here, take a picture of whatever you see back there, send it to Pavel, and then you can go to the plane and get out of here. You're gonna have to take separate pictures for each item. If there's two items, you gotta take two pictures. You can't just take one picture and have it go send for both. So the last thing we gotta do while we're on this island is scope out the drainage tunnel. You only have to do that once. You don't have to do that for every single heist. The easiest way I found to do it is just to get a car or a bike, doesn't matter, and just make your way over to the docks that I'm heading to right now. It's the docks that are at the top of the map, closest to the airport. Go and steal a boat from there and then just make your way over to the drainage tunnel. The easiest way to get over to the docks is just going to be to not take the roads, go on the grass, avoid all the cameras and the guards. So once you get over to the docks, you're just going to take a picture of it and that's how you'll be able to scope that out. So just keep an eye on your mini-map, make sure you're not being spotted by any guards or cameras and then you'll be fine. Then once you get over to the docks, just steal a boat and make your way over to the drainage tunnel. And as you see, when I get over here, there's lots of guards waiting here. So I go really slow and don't rush it. Otherwise, you will get caught and you'll have to restart this whole thing over again, which is not fun. So just wait for the guards to walk out of the area and then go over to the boat and get out of the area as quickly as possible. And being underwater, you should be safe to not get detected or spotted by any of the guards. 
But just, again, don't get too close to them or you will get spotted. So once you get a boat, start making your way over to the drainage tunnel. You're going to know you're there because you'll see these buildings up here. That's where the compound is. And the drainage tunnel is just beneath that. 100% this is the easiest way to enter on your heist. This is the only way I ever choose for an entrance. Now once you're down here, you're going to know you're in the right spot when you see this big rusted metal thing over here. Just go a little bit closer to the shore and then you're going to see there's actually going to be a big square there right over here. Just swim in there. That's all you got to do. And once you do that, it'll say that you've scoped it out and then you don't even need to resurface. Just stay down here, drown underwater. That's going to be your best bet. You will just respawn back at the airport and then you can hop in the plane and you don't have to navigate through this map to get back to the airport. Anyways, if you need help doing any of these preps, I will be uploading a video on which preps you should do and which ones you shouldn't do. Um, I'll also be giving away heists every single day during my live stream. So if you ever come to a live stream and you're interested in making money, just let me know. I'll always be glad to help. Anyways, I really hope this video taught you something new. And if it did, be sure to like and subscribe. Turn on those notifications so you never miss a live stream. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Onyx Money Drops, and I'm out. Peace.